Today is probably like day 30 or something, or day 25, week 5 or 6, I lost count. But I felt really good, and this is a different ring, this is beyond the point. I'm gonna try quad toe today. One attempt, first try, let's see how it is. Okay, so that was not bad. Maybe a slight small cheat on it, but I think it was almost four months ago since I did it, so pretty good. It was pretty good. I think it was pretty good. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to yet another Romsky video. I need to change my laces, so you're gonna watch me do that while I talk. So these laces are starting to go, which is um, an unfortunate side effect of wear and tear. Not a big deal. Basically right now my lace is really wearing out wherever it is on the hook. The lace is fraying. And I'm starting to get a little worried that it's going to break on a jump, which has happened before. I mean, it's not inherently, like, dangerous, in my opinion. Because, like, all that happens is you just buckle. So that, 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 wherever that lace is on the top hook, it just buckles and there's nothing you can do about it. So yesterday was pretty exciting that I got to do a quad toe for the first time. I have a feeling today it might not happen. <laughs> it's always like that. It's like, first day beginner's luck, and then the next day it gets really weird. Hopefully not, but it, it might happen. Fun fact... At NHK last year, if you guys have watched that event, right before my long program, I was tying up my skate, and the same spot where it's like fraying right now, oh, it's right here, right over here, where it's starting to fray. And it doesn't look bad, but then all of a sudden on the hook, it just rubs a little bit more, and then poof, pops. So right before the long program at NHK, I'd say there's probably, I don't know, five minutes before warm up, I'm tying up my right skate, pops completely just pops right off the hook and I look at it snapped and I'm just like oh my god and I just tied it back together there's actually a technique to do it so when you tie back together a broken lace it's actually like just as strong as a, as a normal lace so there was that slight panic moment but it's a good thing that it actually broke before I skated because considering how easily it broke when I tied up my skate it could have totally broken on warm-up or even worse it could have broken while I was competing which would have been bad, because then that whole NHK experience and moment wouldn't have happened. Pretty crazy, like really crazy. So now I'm gonna be a little more proactive about my laces. It never starts looking like this. Come on, focus, sir. Yeah, that, you should probably start changing your laces. I mean, it's still got quite a bit of hold, but one or two jumps and then it just, it goes. And again, it's not inherently dangerous, like I've done it plenty of times. You, you sort of just land and it just snaps, like you, you give out. You still fall pretty softly, and if it's competition, it sucks, because then you get, I'm not even sure what the, the deduction is, I think if you snap your lace, you have to stop, you have to stop skating in competition. That's, I think, an automatic four deductions, four points of deductions, and then for every minute that you take to repair it, it's like another deduction. I don't even know. Like, you get, you get hammered pretty hard for it, so I'm really glad that didn't happen at NHK. For those of you who have Adeas, You'll see on the box of them, they have a recommendation of how to lace your skates slash how to tie your skates. And I highly, highly recommend you follow it, even though it's really weird. So most shoes and like skates in general, you lace them inside out of the eyelet, if that makes sense. So if you have, wow, now it's super bright. How is that? You usually lace on most like shoes and stuff, you lace inside out, which is like the normal way with all shoes, all boots. General stuff is always inside out that you lace it, right? You go in, out, in, out, in, out. Anyway, with Adeas, they highly recommend you do the opposite. So you actually take the lace and you thread it through from the outside of the boot into the inside of the boot. And that's like, apparently, going to lock your boot better. Here's my experience with it. In general, I find you can tie them tighter without putting pressure on your foot if that makes sense. So you know when you tie shoes, it feels like it's pressing down onto the top of your foot. This is the opposite. It sort of feels like it's tight, but not pressing onto your foot as much, but more secure. So it's interesting that, that they like came up with that. And also it's supposed to make your boots last longer. So I think Adea is pretty well killing it when it comes to market share. So I bet like 80% of you, if you guys are skating, are probably in Adea's. Lace them the way they recommend because it will make a difference for A, the feeling, and B, the longevity of your boots. Because I mean, this stuff isn't cheap. You definitely want them to last as long as possible. I'm very thankful that Adea hooks me up with these boots, but even then, like, I don't want to be switching boots every two weeks, right? 
So personally, I switch usually around four to six months. That's how often I switch my boots. And the reason is it's just like, you don't want to go into a competition with them really, really broken, like loss of support. You want to have some support. So it's almost like an insurance, if that makes sense. I don't want to take the risk that I'm going into a competition and two weeks before I need to switch boots, which I have done before. I have switched skates two weeks before Junior Worlds 2015. That was a time when I switched boots two weeks before. Don't ever want to do that again. It's definitely not the way to go. I'm, 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 getting, I'm getting close. Like I'm getting close to that four, six month, I guess, time period. I switched my boots in December. So it was December, January, February, half of March, end of May, June. We're heading into July. So we're in the four month, five month mark. It's about time that I switch my boots, but I'm probably still gonna train with them because honestly, I don't know where the competition season is heading. I'm gonna stick with these boots and these blades for maybe another month and then I'll switch. And then I'll switch. I think that'll be a good idea. Generally, new skates don't scare me that much. I guess I'm just so used to it. I don't know. And I think technology these days with a lot of the skates that are way easier to break in than they were, let's say, I don't know, even 10 years ago. From what I hear, these newer modern skates break faster than the old fashioned skates from like 30, 40 years ago. But they also, you break them in faster which I think is honestly a better approach. You break them in faster, you're ready to go. You don't have to take like a whole month to figure your stuff out. All right, that's it, done. Fresh lace in the boot. Now I'm totally good to train. I highly recommend all of you skaters out there carry a spare lace with you. You might need it at any time. If you guys want, I can teach you guys how to like tie them up if you break them. Actually, I can teach you right now if I can, if I manage, okay, listen, if I manage to break this lace right now, I'll teach you exactly how you should tie up your skate to fix it. I'm gonna teach you life hack. Let's say your, your lace breaks, okay, what do you do? You're gonna take your two ends, because usually what people do is they go like this and they try to tie it together, it's not gonna work. Because as you tighten it, it's gonna loosen. And then it's gonna loosen and then it's gonna break and then it's gonna be like, okay, I wasted my time. Generally, this works better if you wet the laces. So if you take water and wet them, I actually don't know why this is, but I'm always told that it helps. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take the lace, you're gonna line them up like this. You're gonna line them up. Then you're gonna tie them together like this. And you tie them together like that. So that whenever you pull on it, it actually tightens the knot instead of loosening. And this is pretty well almost as strong as it was before, before it broke. Okay, so that's your life hack. Wet them first with water, then line them up then tighten them. See, this is exactly what I did before my long program at NHK. It broke, I used this technique, it got me through the long, and there's no difference. I basically more or less skated clean, so that's your emergency tactic, but please, just be aware of your laces, pay attention if they're fraying. I knew it was fraying, I just had this weird superstition that like, those laces were giving me good luck, and so I decided to, you know, keep them but obviously their luck ended when they broke. I don't know, your mind does crazy things in competition. Change your laces, guys, just change your laces. Honestly, this works great and you should know how to do it in a high pressure environment. That's what I did, but just change your laces and always keep a spare with you at all times.